everybody, so today I'm going to do my favorites for the month of November. I cannot believe it's already December. The year has completely flown by. I have so many good things coming up in this month. I am excited because obviously it's Christmas. It's my son's first Christmas, even though he should have been born last year before Christmas. But um, it's his first Christmas and then he has his birthday right shortly after that. So it's going to be a busy, crazy month and I will be doing hopefully some vlogs throughout the month so that you guys can kind of stay in tune with what I'm going through and what's going on here at the home in mi casa. Anyway, so my favorites for the month, I'm gonna just show you, I'm gonna breeze right through this really quickly. I'm gonna start off with my hair products. One of the first things I'm gonna show you is my Dove dry shampoo. And I recently have been getting into dry shampoo simply because I obviously color my hair and I use a bright red. If you're wondering, I use the Redken 5R or 6R. It's just a straight red pigment that I put in my hair after I bleach it at the salon. Um, and so that fades really quickly. So I need to extend the washes that I do on my hair a little bit longer. So I use the dry shampoo in between. Um, before I didn't do it so much because I would wash my hair every other day. But with the red hair, you have to be careful. So I have this one. This is just a volume dry shampoo um, refresh and care from Dove and it actually smells really really nice. Um, I enjoy the smell of it. It does give my hair a little bit of volume. Um, I do just spray it kind of just, if I were to spray it right now, I just would spray it kind of all over and I'd kind of rub it in with my fingers and then kind of comb it through and then if I need more go back and touch up wherever I need. But this is great and it's really only a couple bucks and it tells you how to use it on the back. Next hair product it is something that I recently got into using. Um, I read on, I think online or somewhere, that it's recommended to use alcohol-free products, um, hair care products, in your hair, especially if you color treat. So I found this spray, and it's the L'Oreal Everstyle Alcohol-Free Stronghold Hair Spray. Now this is what I've been using. I used it yesterday to curl my hair. Um, I like it. It gives me an all-day hold, like it says. Um, it's just a strong hold, but I think it's still more of a, of a soft, kind of brushable hold. It's not really crispy at all. It's very, it almost feels like I don't have anything in my hair, which I like. The smell is a little bit strong. It does smell kind of like cocoa butter, which is mm, a little bit unexpected for, um, for me at least. But it does smell kind of like cocoa butter, so it's a very strong scent, and I do smell it throughout the day. I do get whiffs of it. Um, it's not bad, um, but if you're really picky on scents and stuff, you may not like this one. And I think the Elnet um, by L'Oreal has one that's for color treated hair, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. But there's so many different ones that you can choose from. That's just the one that I've been loving. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you. I've been really getting into teasing my hair, and I have this comb here. It's the Amp Up, Amped Up by Cricut, and I got this at Sally's for a couple bucks, and I just do some, you know, kind of teasing in my hair, um, especially when I do a ponytail instead of it being like a plain, blah, boring ponytail, I kind of tease it and give it a little bit of volume, not too high, not no Texas hair or anything, but, so, for my hair to curl it, I have had this tool for a very long time, um, not very long, but I've had it since the beginning of the summer, and I forgot to mention it to you guys, but I did order from Groupon, I have the app on my phone, and I do order stuff, stuff from there every now and again. So this tool, let me grab all this. Um, this is the New Me Styling um, Wand, and this is just the basic one. I don't know exactly what the model number is. It's just the basic on and off. There's nothing um, fancy about it. I just chose pink. They have pink, blue, and black. And this is a 25 millimeter, and that's what I used um, yesterday for my hair. And it just gives waves to my hair. Now, if you wanted tighter curls, you could get that. Um, you just have to kind of wrap the piece of hair, a thinner piece, and hold it for just a little bit longer and you get more of like a spiral curl. And it does come with a protective glove, which I use because I can't tell you how many times I burnt myself. My fingers messing with this thing because it gets very hot. But I like it because it doesn't leave any of the marks from any of the, the, the clamp. So it's kind of nice. I'm still getting used to it, but I've had it every time over the summer that I've done a video um, with my hair with waves like this, I've been using this um, new me styling wand. And I think I got it for like 40 bucks on Groupon. A crazy good deal. That's the only reason why I ordered it. Because I certainly don't need. Um, but I'm glad I did because it was cheap. And um, it works really well. And it seems to be very popular here on YouTube. Um, so for my skincare type of thing. I, I'm going to show you this makeup remover. It's the Maybelline 
Kleenex Express makeup remover. And this is the waterproof one. It's the one that you have to shake up and you use it. Um, I love this stuff. It doesn't um, have any oil. It says oil free in it. And it's also made for sensitive skin, I believe. It says on the back. Um, allergy tested. Safe for contact lens wear. Oil free. Anyways, so this actually takes off every last drop of my makeup. And... It does it so quickly and so easy. I don't have to go over my eyes and kind of rub back and forth. It takes it off. I use a makeup removing wipe. And I should have grabbed them to show you, but I use the Walmart store brand, the Equate um, brand that you buy. It comes with two little packs in a, in a package. And it's like six bucks, and that lasts forever because I think one pack has like, I'm not sure, probably like maybe 60 wipes. Um, so I use a little bit of that, and I do have the Makeup Breakup Cleansing Oil from Bosha or Basha. I did a review on the Bright Stars kit on my blog, I'll link to it below, but I do have that, and I do use that, um, but I do have to follow with this around my eyes, because this really takes off everything, even waterproof mascara, it's really one of the best that I've tried. Then for um, eye products, I have the um, Bosha or Basha, however you pronounce that, Enlivening Amino AG Eye Treatment. Now, I did, like I said, a review. This is part of that kit. This cream for your eyes is freaking amazing, you guys. It feels like silk when you put it on. It makes your skin feel just rich and luxurious. It just feels really, really great. And this is going to last me a while, this small tube, because you literally need a drop. And I'll get it a little bit up close so that you guys can see what it looks like. There it is. So you guys can find it if you're interested. Like I said, all my thoughts on that are going to be on my review at my blog. On my blog. Blah, I can't even talk. So I'll put the link to that below, as like I said before. And I love this. Um, you can find this online at Sephora and at Ulta. It's a, it says on the back, a silky gel cream that nourishes and firms while diminishing puffiness and dark circles around the eye area. Use AM and PM around the orbital bone. So I use this under my eyes and on my eyelids as well. I try not to use too much of it during the daytime, especially if I'm going to follow with makeup because I have oily skin and so anything extra will just cause creasing in my eyeshadow, creasing in my concealer. So I use smaller amounts if I'm going out, but if I'm staying home for the day, I just put a little bit extra so that it just kind of keeps it hydrated and I use it at night and it just works wonders. I love it. It feels great. Then um, for my last like body care product, I have to show you guys my hand cream. Yeah, my bottle's kind of beat up, but... It's the Curel um, Hand and Cuticle Therapy Cream. This stuff is really great, especially now in the winter months where your skin feels a little dry. My skin around my cuticles gets a little bit drier, so what I do is I put extra of this around my cuticles. And I do have a cuticle cream that I use, um, but I like this because I wash my hands a lot with the baby. Um, I'm constantly, I'm a freak when it comes to germs. I cannot stand them, so I have to wash my hands a lot. And um, that really does dry out my hands pretty badly. And I use dish gloves to do any dishes and cleaning and stuff to prevent any further drying. This is really great. It's hands down one of the best hand creams. It doesn't feel greasy or silk. Um, it feels silky, but it doesn't leave um, like a greasy feel. It leaves like a film on your hands that you can feel still on there after you wash your hands. I feel like it still stays on and it keeps my hands um, really nice and moisturized and nourished, which is really a big deal for me. Then for my last couple beauty products, I have one brush, and it's my Sonia Kashigan. It is dirty, I'm sorry. And I think she changed her brush handles. I think they're white with silver at the bottom now, but this is just her dual fiber stippling brush. I use this for my bronzer. It's so soft. I use it today, that's why it's dirty, but I just kind of go in circular motions, and it kind of gives me like an airbrush finish to my bronzer. And I like that because I use the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer by Too Faced. And I just go around my hairline, around my cheeks, and I bring it onto my cheeks, under my chin. And so I just go all over, and then whatever's left, I kind of go over my nose and the center of my face, um, and under my eyes a little bit. Um, but this really is one of the softest, it's actually softer to me than the one that I have from Sigma. Sigma is soft, but this is just even softer. And it's a little bit shorter, the handle, than the Sigma ones, and as you can see, um... This one seems to be a little bit more packed with bristles than the Sigma. I love them. They both do the same thing, but there's just something about the Sonia Kashuk that's just hands down the best stippling brush that I've ever used, so I would recommend, and they're really inexpensive. This is a, a very old brush that I've had from Smashbox. I got this in like a holiday set years ago, but it says on here the Travel Precision Eyeliner Brush, and I'm showing you this because 
I have gotten into using this brush for my eyebrows. And I know it's not made for the brows, it's not your standard brow brush, but I love this for my brow powder and I use, let me show you, the um, Milani brow powder when I do brows um, in powder. Or if we, I have a pencil as well that I like too, but when I use that, I use this brush and it really helps kind of get right into my lashes or my eyebrows and I can really create the shape that I want. I can use the tip of it to kind of define my inner corner right in here. Um, so it's really, really great. I love it and it's super dirty, but again... It's really great when you can find other uses for your brushes just because it's an eyeliner brush doesn't mean that you have to use it for eyeliner or a shadow brush or pencil brush. Um, you can use your brushes for different things and that's what I like. So I discovered a new use for this and I'm really enjoying that. My last two beauty products are a mascara and it's a new rediscovered favorite of mine. I used to use this a long time ago when they came out. It's the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous False Lashes Mascara and it's in the gold tube and this stuff is crazy good. I, I can't even tell you. I have a review that I did probably last year. I'll put a link to it below. Crazy goodness here. Um, this is the wand and it has small little fibers. You probably won't be able to see that. Maybe here on the tip of it you could probably see. A couple little fibers that kind of cling to your lashes and give you a false eyelash effect. I love it because it gives me a nice spread fanned out look with my lashes and makes them long. I love this. It doesn't um, fall or flake off those little fibers which I hate when mascaras do that because it's so annoying. And so I know you guys are going to be able to tell but I have um, the mascara on today. I love that one and also my Maybelline the Rocket Volume is really great stuff if you're wanting some really good drugstore brands. Then my last product is the Liquid Liner by L'Oreal. It's the Super Slim Infallible Liquid Liner. And I recently got this one because my Maybelline one is getting ready to just take its last little dive. And it's going to be ready for the trash. So I got this one because I wanted to try a different one and see if there was something even better. This one has a very similar brush to it. It's a felt tip, um, like a pen style. And it... Oh, I just wrote on myself. And it draws on... So easy, very crisp, very black, very rich in pigment. And I love this, it's really easy. I used it today for my eyeliner and it's just really great stuff. The only thing I have to say about it is that the cap does not close and like really tightly. Like it doesn't snap on and I kind of need that, especially when you're gonna travel because I feel like this can just twist right off and it's very easy, you just, n nothing and it comes right off. So. I like it. it has like a little gripper here, which really I don't really see a point. I mean, it makes it easier to hold. I get that. Um, but that's not important to me. I love the liquid liner um, from them. I have used some other liners from them before, like the Carbon Black Liner Intense. This is one like it's like an inkwell. You just dip it in there. This is also another good one. But it's very similar to, I wanted to show you, my Maybelline Master Precise, which I love. And... Um, this is the Maybelline and this is the L'Oreal. So let me... Uh, so Maybelline is this one here, which is definitely a lot longer and a lot more, I don't know, just it has a nicer tip and it kind of flares out a little bit at the base. But also the L'Oreal does that as well, but it's not quite as thin at the point. You see how it's a little bit sh shorter? But they both do the same thing. Um, either one is really great, but I'm really digging the L'Oreal. Um, it's a great substitute, and I think they're around the same price. So I'm really liking those. Um, anyways, that's all of my favorite products um, for this month. I have one last thing to show you, and it is my newest favorite candy. And they're these. These are so delicious. These are the Hershey Kisses filled with Cherry Cordial Cream. That's what they look like. There are the cherry cordials without the cherry. Amazing. Just amazing. These are addicting. They have even a recipe for you to do cookies with them on the back, which sounds so delicious. But these are... Oh, wrong, upside down. These are so crazy good. I, me and my mom have gone through this entire bag. I have another bag that I'm working on now. Just crazy good for the holidays. It's nice when you have people come over for the holidays. You can put these in a bowl because they're nice and the pretty um, colored foil and you could just put them in a bowl and just serve them as, you know, just the centerpiece and people could just eat from there. It's really nice to have things like that and it's really inexpensive to do that as well. I love these. Do recommend. They're delicious.
So that's it guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed my favorites for the month of November and I hope that you guys had a fantastic Thanksgiving and that you guys got a lot of great Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals um, because I did so I may do a video on those things. Um, so I hope that December is even more fantastic for you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everybody.